Hello guys. Today you will watch video on flash wireless communication. In my last video, you watched all about Godex V860 Mark II Flash, and I took lots of time to explain the all features about Godex Flash 860. Now I will not take much time in this video and quickly guide you how we can use off-camera flash with the help of optical wireless communication. Before watching this video, I request you click on subscribe button if you not subscribed and click on the bell. And also don't forget to give comments and ideas so I can create those videos that you want to like to watch. Now I will showing you which gears I am using in this video. I am using Godex V860 Mark II, Nikon SB800 and Nikon D7500 camera. First set the camera settings from the camera menu. Need to go on photo shooting menu. You can see here flash control option. I can set setting either here or my menu. Now selecting the flash control from here. After selecting flash control, you will see the optical wireless option. Select it. You will see here optical AWL option. AWL means advanced wireless lightning. Then go to group flash options. Here you can set the group settings master A and B group. Built flash act as a master. You can set mode TTL, manual, auto aperture. I set mode to TTL, uh, FEC to minus three steps because I need this flash to set signal to slave flashes only. No set group A, mode to TTL, exposure value to zero and come to group B with same setting as set for a group A. Channel set to 1, so all units set to channel ID 1. Now press OK to complete all settings. Set flash settings. Switch on power button. It was already set to ITTL mode on camera. Press the wireless button. Optical wireless master mode activated. Then press again. Slave mode will be activated by changing color green to orange. In LCD display, you can see the wireless logo, channel ID 1, group A on, group A on slave mode. Now come to camera, press the flash button and flash pop up. This built in flash act as a master as we set in camera menu. As I am pressing the shutter release button, slave unit also fire by firing master built in flash. Again I am doing it fire again. Now I am setting other flash on slave mode. I am using Nikon SP800. Setting in to remote. In Nikon, remote means slave. Pressing long to select button. Setting menu appear. Select the master remote option and press select long again. LCD display is showing as a remote and channel ID to 1 and group set to B. You can change channel ID to 1 to 4 or group A to C by selecting select button. I keep my settings to channel 1 and group to B because my another Godex flash set to A group. Let us see how both flashes fire with master built in flash. As I pressing shutter release button both flashes fire. I am pressing it again and all flashes fire with the help of master flash and work according to the settings set on the camera. Before you will watch how to use flash as a master, I want to tell you I have added the buying links for Indian and global subscribers in description where you can buy Godox Speedlight. Now I fix flash on camera horseshoe as a master. When we use this flash as a master, then it will not have to take anything from the camera's flash control settings. It will use its own. Now switch on the flash, press the wireless button, master menu will appear with no mode set and no output value set. By pressing 4 button, set the group, pressing function 3, set the mode and pressing the function 2 button and pressing the function 2, set the flash output value or FEC if we set to ITTL mode. We can change the values by rotating dial. 
I set master flash to mode M and flash output 1 is to 128 lowest value. I did not set group A because I have another Nikon flash that already set to B group. Now see the both units set to mode M at group B and channel IT to 1. I controlling all settings from master flash so I set B group in master flash and channel ID 1. Flash output set 1 is to 16 so slave unit will fire with output 1 is to 16. Now these are final settings on master unit, master settings on mode M, group B, channel ID 1 and flash output 1 is to 128. Slave, slave settings set on mode M, channel ID 1 and the flash output 1 is to 16. If change B group mode to TTL on master unit, slave act as a TTL instead of M. Now we will watch on icon flash act as a slave with Godox as a master. As I press the shutter release button, Nikon flash fire as a slave, again pressing fire it again. It is all for today. I will bring new video on flash series in next Monday. Thanks for watching.